The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful instrument for exploring the universe, has spotted something astonishing. Strange, steady glows seem to be shining from a planet just over four light years away. That planet is Proxima Centauri b, the nearest known exoplanet to Earth, and the discovery is sparking extraordinary questions. Could this be the first evidence of artificial light beyond our world? At first, it sounds like the plot of science fiction. Yet the data is genuine. In its infrared scans of Proxima b, Webb recorded recurring pulses of light that appear too orderly, too rhythmic, and too deliberate to be explained by natural causes alone. Unlike auroras or volcanic eruptions, which flicker irregularly, these emissions display a structure that hints at design. Proxima Centauri b orbits Proxima Centauri, a small red dwarf star that is the closest star to our Sun and part of the Alpha Centauri system. The planet sits in the habitable zone, where liquid water could exist on the surface. Scientists have long considered Proxima b a leading candidate for life. But never before has any observation provided such a provocative clue, not a biosignature in the usual sense, but something potentially more remarkable, light resembling illumination across its night side. Because Proxima b is thought to be tidally locked, one hemisphere always faces its star while the other remains in eternal darkness. If intelligent life developed there, perhaps it adapted by generating light to brighten the shadowed half. Webb's data shows faint but consistent emissions in the infrared spectrum coming from that dark hemisphere. These signals don't look random. The patterns rise and fall in brightness in a way that recalls how city lights appear from orbit around Earth. Some astronomers, including David Kipping of Columbia University, have suggested cautious optimism. In his words, this doesn't appear to be a simple glitch. It's something worth deeper investigation. The environment around Proxima b is harsh. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are smaller and cooler than the Sun but far more active, often blasting nearby planets with intense flares that can strip away atmospheres. Yet if Proxima b has managed to keep a thick enough atmosphere, it might still be capable of supporting life, or even advanced civilizations. Clues also come from atmospheric chemistry. By analyzing starlight that filters through a planet's atmosphere, astronomers can detect gases associated with biology. Webb is especially sensitive to water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide. In the case of Proxima b, researchers see hints of unusually high methane levels without the expected carbon monoxide. That imbalance is difficult to explain without invoking either complex life or technological activity. On Earth, methane is produced largely by living organisms, or by industrial processes. Some researchers even suggest the lights may not be, cities, at all, but signals, beacons designed to announce presence. Instead of radio waves, a civilization might use modulated light pulses or energy beams, which Webb's infrared vision could detect. Others speculate the source could be enormous reflectors, satellites, or energy arrays orbiting the planet, engineered to brighten the dark side or collect power. Still, science must account for natural explanations. Could volcanic eruptions, glowing minerals, or deep geothermal activity create the illusion of steady lights? Possible but the regularity and symmetry of the signals stand in contrast to the randomness expected from geology. Their persistence looks far more like something powered and controlled. Detecting such faint glows is itself a triumph of modern astronomy. For decades, planets orbiting distant stars remained invisible, overwhelmed by the overwhelming brilliance of their suns. A star can outshine its planets by billions of times, drowning them in a sea of light. Yet the James Webb Space Telescope, with its advanced optics and coronagraphs, has given us a way to pierce through that glare. By blocking the starlight, Webb can separate the faintest planetary signals and reveal what was once unthinkable, a glimpse of possible activity on another world. This achievement is only the beginning. 
In the coming years, even more powerful instruments are on the horizon. NASA's planned Habitable Worlds Observatory aims to be the next great leap, designed specifically to hunt for Earth-like planets and probe their atmospheres in detail. Coronagraph technology will continue to advance, making it possible to suppress starlight even further and bring alien surfaces into view. Alongside this, bold engineering concepts are being considered, most notably the starshade. Picture a massive, flower-shaped spacecraft flying tens of thousands of kilometers ahead of a telescope, casting an artificial shadow so that the telescope behind it can directly photograph a planet orbiting a distant star. If built, such a device could finally allow astronomers to see Earth-sized exoplanets with clarity, perhaps even capturing the glow of continents, oceans, or artificial structures. Meanwhile, Earth itself is preparing to join the effort. In Chile's Atacama Desert, construction is underway on the extremely large telescope, a machine so vast that its primary mirror will span 39 meters across. With adaptive optics to counteract the blurring effects of Earth's atmosphere, this telescope will sharpen our cosmic vision and may provide another crucial look at Proxima b. When it begins operations later this decade, it could confirm whether the mysterious glows are truly artificial or whether nature has crafted something stranger than we expect. The stakes could not be higher. If the lights from Proxima b do prove artificial, the implications would be staggering. It would mark the first direct evidence that humanity is not alone. Four light years away, cosmically next door, there could be another intelligence, perhaps older, perhaps younger, perhaps vastly different from us. For the first time, the other we have dreamed about for centuries might not be confined to imagination. What kind of beings might live there? Would they be explorers like us, pushing the boundaries of their world? Survivors, forced to engineer solutions in the harsh environment of a red dwarf system? Builders of cities glowing against the darkness of perpetual night? Or perhaps something so unlike humanity that our ideas of culture, technology, and society barely apply? And yet, despite the wonder, skepticism remains essential. Scientists remind us that extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence. Patterns of light may look deliberate, but nature has a way of surprising us. Unfamiliar chemistry, volcanic activity, or exotic geological processes could create signals that mimic technology. That is why every possible natural explanation must be tested before the idea of alien intelligence can be accepted. But even with that caution, the discovery changes everything. The very possibility of artificial illumination, light-structured, rhythmic, and deliberate, reshapes our relationship with the universe. For the first time, we are not just asking, are we alone? But considering that the answer may be within reach. Proxima b, a world just across the interstellar gulf, is no longer just a scientific curiosity. It is a mirror for our hopes, our fears, and our imagination. Whether the truth proves to be alien cities, exotic natural processes, or something we have not yet conceived, the search itself is transformative. It reminds us that discovery may be closer than we think, that the unknown is no longer out of reach, and that the faint glows from a nearby star system may be the first whisper of an answer humanity has awaited for millennia.